Harvard MIT Math Tournament 2021 General Round Problem Number 10. We want to solve this problem. Thank you for seeing this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and turn on notification to have next videos because I release several Olympiad or math problems and I will release many other Olympiad problems to improve problem solving. We want to check the idea. So here, let's see. Real numbers x, y, z satisfy x plus x, y plus x, y, z equals 1, y plus y, z plus x, y, z equals 2, z plus x, z plus x, y, z equals 4. The largest possible value of x, y, z is a plus b root c over d, where a, b, c, d are integers, d is positive, here denominator, c is square free, and g, c, d of a, b, d is 1. Find 1000A plus 100B plus 10C plus D. Okay, so if we add up all these terms, then we have what? X plus Y plus Z plus XY plus YZ plus XZ plus 3XYZ equals 1 plus 2 plus 4, which is 7. Now, if you see these terms, if I write 1 plus x, it is so much similar to this. 1 plus y. 1 plus z times. 1 plus z. Then I have 1. So yeah, let's subtract by 1. x, y, z. I have this. x, y plus x, y, z plus x, z. I have this. Plus 1 x, y, z. So I should add 2 x, y, z. And it will be what? It will be 7. Okay, so... Here we will see we can conclude 1 plus x, 1 plus y, 1 plus z equals, if you take negative 1 to right hand side, it will be 8 minus 2xyz. Also, let's consider one of them, for example, x plus y plus z. Let me copy them. Copy. Okay. From first one, because we have 1 plus x, if you factor from x, x times 1 plus x is what? 1 minus x, y, z. This one is what? y times 1 plus y is 2 minus x, y, z. And this one will be what? z times 1 plus x is 4 minus x, y, z. Okay, as you can see here, we have x, y, z and this term. If we product all these terms, then I have x, y, z times 1 plus x, 1 plus y, 1 plus z, this one, z, 1, let's check, ah, here it's 1 plus y. If you factor from this and y, ah, uh -huh, let me correct this part, 1 plus z. So if you multiply, it will be x, y, z, 1 plus x, 1 plus y, 1 plus z equals what? 1 minus x, y, z, 1, 2 minus x, y, z, and 4 minus x, y, z. And here we know by this equality, this part is what? 8 minus 2 x, y, z. So here we conclude what? We conclude we've written an equation, one equation, one variable. The variable is what? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. We have here variables A, B, C, D. So let's call this E. So E times 8 minus 2E equals 1 minus E, 2 minus E, and 4 minus E. Okay, so here if we see, we will see we will reach uh, an equation with degree 3. I can say it. These types of problem in 90% of exams, you should find one good root and change it to quadratic formula. So let's see, does it work here? It's e cubed. So uh, let, let me multiply 8e minus 2e squared, 1 times 2 times. Let, let's multiply at first e minus e cubed, and then e squared will be what? e squared will be. 1 plus 2 plus 4 and negative e will be what? 2 times 4, 8, 1 times 4, 4, and 1 times 2, 2. 
and the constant term will be 1 times 2 times 4, which will be 8. So if you take all things to left hand side, e cubed, this one is what? 7. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. So 7 e squared, take it to left hand side, negative 7, minus 2, minus 9 e squared. And this part is 12 plus 2, 14 e, negative 14 e. If you take to left hand side, it will be 14 e plus 8 e plus 22 e. And here we have 8, so the only constant term, take it to left hand side, negative 8 equals 0. Okay, we can do this and try to check, for example, e equals uh, plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 5 to see which of them equals 0. One way is this, but because we here, here we have product, we can't let me write the rest of that with black. We want to analyze all solutions. Here, we can factor from 2, 2e, two 4 minus e. And because we see 4 minus e, we can do something here instead of expanding. You can say 4e, 4 minus e, and then take this, or take these things to the right-hand side. It will be 1 minus e, 2 minus e, and then negative 2e. So here, you we understand here e is 4. Also, you can write e4 and factor to reach quadratic formula. So we said two ways. So here it's minus e squared and plus e squared. Minus e, minus 2e, minus 3e, minus 2e, minus 5e. And 1, 2 plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so one root here is e equals 4. One root here, if we use quadratic formula, negative b plus minus b squared, 25 minus 4ac, which is minus 428 over 2a. So it will be 5 plus minus root 17 over 2. And now let's copy the problem says exactly once what. The problem says, let me copy this part. Copy. Okay, we want to see, we should select which e. So here we should have plus, it will be plus 5 plus root 17 over 2. Sometimes maybe someone says, okay, we can write 4 in this term. Well, like what here? For example, you say, okay, because GCD also is 1, 3, 1, 1. For example, 1 here. But the problem says what? Find maximum, largest possible. So 5 plus root 17 over 2. Root 17 is greater than 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 over 2 is greater than 9. 9 over 2, 4.5. So it's the largest possible case. Okay, so here A is what? A is 5. B is what? B is 1. C is what? 17. And D is what? 2. So it is 5,000 plus 100 plus 170 plus 2 and if we add up all these numbers it will be 2725 so the answer of this problem equals 5272 and uh, okay if you had any question about the solution of this problem or other problems feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description comments also, please subscribe my YouTube channel and turn on notification to have next videos. I also release many other solutions of Harvard, MIT Math Journal, and Stanford, Olympiad of America, UK, and other countries.